Hi guys, welcome back to JDME. Today we are going to discuss about the CK exam series question number 8. So the question says, you need to create a new priority class named high priority for user workloads with the value that is 1 less than the existing highest user defined priority class. It says, so we need to create a new priority class which is less than 1 in the, in the user defined priority class which is already exist in the cluster in the exam you will be already having the priority class okay and next we need to create uh, okay we need to patch the deployment of the busy box floor running in the priority namespace okay uh, to use the high priority class okay once we create the priority class we need to patch the existing deployment running in the priority namespace with the high priority as a priority class we need to set okay next Ensure the busy box logger deployment rollout successfully with a new priority class set. So we can roll it. We can uh, roll out uh, the deployment of busy box logger. And in the question it says it's expected that the pods from other deployments running in the priority namespace are evicted. That is expected. Okay, that you can monitor in your exam. Just list the pods or other deployments uh, in the high, in the priority namespace. And also they are saying that we don't need to modify any other deployments running in the high priority sorry priority class a priority namespace sorry so if you do anything any modifications to other deployments running in the priority namespace your score will be reduced so make sure you are just creating a priority class updating it with the deployment and uh, roll out the deployment that is the only requirement let's move on so first we will get the priority class names existing in that cluster so you can see these are the two or the system are uh, defined and the last one is user high priority in the exam you will be able to see which is starting with system you don't touch that one and whatever the name not starting with the system you look for that and see the value which is higher and the highest priority and you need to create for that highest priority minus one for example this is uh, the user defined one so in exam you will be you will be getting but uh, for this session i have created this priority class let me show you so this is the one i have created so for our practice and now i'm going to create a new priority class that is high priority already I have the code uh, uh, code ready for that so in exam right you can simply go to here and just simply type uh, priority class the moment when you type the priority class you will be able to see the link and where you can click and you can see this part preemption and priority you will be able to see and if you click on here you will be able to see the example priority class this is how it will looks like so it requires only the name of the priority and what is the value you need to set so that is already i'm having here so let me create it yes the priority class got created so if you see this this is the one which is less than one of this uh, existing user priority so this is the first part of the question is completed now the second part of the question says um, we need to patch the existing deployment of the busy bus logger so in the exam you are going to get the deployment and the namespace also okay so in our test scenario we don't have the namespace of the priority and the deployment as well so we will create for that i have uh, already created the manifest here so let me create a kubectl get namespace if you see I don't have priority as a name namespace now I'm going to create it for our question okay you can see right the namespace created and the busy box logger verify get uh, deployment priority okay this is the deployment we have so we need to patch the deployment with the uh, priority class which we have created 
that's what uh, here we can see that question says with the high priority class okay so we can directly do this so how you can add the pre uh, that parameter for the high priority priority class that also you can check in the documentation itself which i have opened already same document right where we are referring for the priority class creation if you go to the section here you can see right example pod priority says under the spec of the pod you can simply just copy this part wait a second let me insert this okay now this is the high priority uh, class that we created just save it and you can see right uh, the deployment get edited let's verify the deployment uh, again and uh, get the parts for the priority name case see the parts are um, restarting I'm just giving priority let's see yes you can see right under that namespace priority that's the one we are we have just set now okay so get ports panan priority okay so the ports are running i look good and we don't want to modify any other deployments anyhow i don't have any other deployments in the namespace so just i have created a priority namespace and i have only just added the deployment for our testing purpose apart from that nothing is there so our parts is running and uh, there is no issues with the parts which we created under uh, high priority class that we have created that's it for this question so please do like and subscribe and support me if you like and if you have any other clarifications you required please don't hesitate to comment in the comment section so i will try to improve uh, the solution or if you want to do some explanation about any any particular area please don't hesitate i'm happy to help you thank you guys stay tuned